So when I was a kid, yeah, I used to fall in love with a lot of girls. Sure. When I was in like, you know. And now you're on to dudes. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> it's going pretty well. Um, I guess, hey, mom, dad, I'm gay, so. <laughs> Uh, it was a secret, but Neil, <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> it's a, I'm not his type. Man, he's too brown. He's too brown. Yeah, too, <laughs> yeah. my parents are like, thank oh, God. thank God. It's one, <laughs> one thing being gay. <laughs> Second of all, d- dating a black guy? She thinks you're black. <laughs> yeah, he's not black. He's Mexican. <laughs> Welcome to Tummy Time. Welcome to Tummy Time. I'm Neil. I'm Justin. And that's Art in the booth. What's up, guys? How's Arthur. Going, man? Hello. Welcome to feeling? the show, dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. how are you feeling? Good question, Neil. <laughs> feeling bright and animated. <laughs> oh, Jesus Peter. Christ, listen to this guy. That's cool. Hey, what about this, dude? No, we're taking you off the screen. Megan Hall, Tennessee. I know her. Remember her? Sex cop? <laughs> Megan Hall, Tennessee cop fired for sex romps with fellow officer... Uh, gets uh, officers. I'm sorry. It was way more than <laughs> hey, one officer. Yeah, don't gets, misrepresent what she's doing out here. She gets ten thousand dollars strip club offer in Nashville. So she's a she's a Tennessee cop. She's a little hot was. chicken, huh? So they're offering her ten thousand dollars at Deja Vu Nashville. Does that sound <laughs> like a strip club? Yeah, if I've ever heard of a strip club, I think Deja Vu is a strip club name. I've been here before. <laughs> I've been here yeah. five uh, times this week. Yeah, and it's all in different states. <laughs> States? Yeah. Oh no. Just the same women I run into. Damn, dude. So they are they're offering her uh two Ten shows. Grand. Two shows. Five thousand dollars per show. Okay. So what do you think? You think she t- she should take this? It's not a bad offer. It really one isn't. night, ten K? Well no, it's ten K for two nights. No, uh one day. One night, two shows. Five thousand each. Who wants that? And it's gonna be like maybe an hour show. Like, how long could you even be doing this? And you know she loves it. Right. You think she doesn't love just a bunch of guys well, just I looking can't, at her? Uh, I can't say that for myself. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know that you she You can't loves it. extrapolate from her beha- her past behavior to her future behavior? I don't, I don't know if she had all of the cops at the same time. I think there was, there was at least one Instance orgy. Instance when there was, there was at least all one, of them? No. There was Menage at least a threesome. Yeah, there was at least a menage a trois. You don't think it multiplies? Is mono- is is having a threesome, a similar to the an same as wanting people to look at you naked? I think, I think, okay. They're different I am. Ass- I'm assuming. I'm not making any judgments, but yeah, I'm no, saying yeah. she's the kind of lady that wants a room full of guys to look at her damn gazooms. <laughs> Why not for five thousand dollars? I think she gets. I think she'd like it. She's a freaky little. Uh, sure. It's like it's, it's like freak. five thousand. <laughs> Look at this! Look at this uh, old baby, dude. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was gonna say a little potato. She's a little potato. I, dude, I think she's a cutie, dude. Is it because you know who she is? I know what she's about. Right. I know who is she is. An I know what she'd do to me with very little, with, with very little, you know, entry fee. I'd say. She gives do off. Do you an think energy. she's your you're her type though? I think she likes cops. I, I think she's a power. I could boss her around. Thing. a little. I could boss. Can you? Could you possibly around? Be, I could be racist to random people on the street around oh, her. I bet you would love that. I bet you would love that. Can you indiscriminately pepper spray or, or tase a, an individual? Like, I don't know. If it, no, she, she wants you to discriminately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not indiscriminately. It was a joke. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Um, also, I wouldn't do that for her. Not for no. her. Here's the, place, here's the exterior of uh, Deja this Vu. This place can apparently afford... A uh, five thousand dollar fee for but her, but they can't afford paint. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, speaking of, I saw this one documentary of, of um, this guy. He's interv- he interviews a lot of different people, and he interviewed some prostitute uh, in L.A. and just got her story and all that stuff. She says she makes guess how much money a day. Well, what's her number? There's a quota. There's what's a quota. what's her her attractiveness? Uh, I, I, I don't think it matters scale. because there's a quota. What do you think the quota a pimp requires? Okay, usually? you're saying it's either it's either less men, more money, or more men, less money. Yeah. And you're, okay. So okay, what 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 answer? Okay, What's, what the question? Quota What's the quota? What's the that a pimp would require of this woman? Of, it would help to know how attractive she was because she would have to have sex no, with less men. All of his women, no matter, have to bring him a certain amount of money per day. Okay, you're not talking about the amount of guys. Right. Exactly. Um, you, you already said that it does. It either okay. more guys le- because it's less money. Or it's his cut? No, just his whole day fee. And then he, pays, fee, he right. pays her out of that. The day fee. What do you think it is? One thousand. One thousand. 
that Art, do you have a guess? I was going to say in the neighborhood of that. Yeah. 1500 to $2,000 per day. You better hope to God that you're hot enough to only have about... She says she doesn't miss a day. Wow. Guess how much each date is. Date being an engagement with a gentleman. 100 bucks. 50 Forty dollars. That's a <laughs> lot of dates, dude. A lot of penises. That's fifty. Fifty per day. first dates, dude. Fifty first That's dates. That's what that movie was supposed to be about. <laughs> hey, peanut butter cup. Hey, peanut butter cup. Uh, fifty dates a day per day, and two thousand dollars per day. But here's the thing: is over half a million dollars here's a year. Here's the thing, dude. Here's and the thing. She She's working, dude. Nothing, but nothing. Here, she is working, dude. Yeah. But when you enjoy what you do, never work really a day in your life. Work? That's right, dude. You never work a day in your life. She's when you just love what meeting you do. 50, 50 gentlemen. She just, Brando, she's look, just, look, she's introduced. The she's, thing is, a stranger is just an opportunity to make a friend. That, exactly. <laughs> so I like to think that it's all, uh, it's all good. It's the journey, not I like, the destination. I like to think that she's having a good time and the pimps being really nice and and all the Johns are being I very see nice. That That's you what know I like to. Everything imagine. about pimps and Johns. <laughs> they're they're always, traditionally very, very nice people. They're very, they're very. I feel like I would be a good John. That's why you're not a John, right? Because it's it's kind of that's what the the juice is in the uh, in the Johnning, <laughs> the juice is in the transaction. <laughs> the juice is in being like a dickhead to a to a woman. <laughs> I don't money. know that that's a whole juice, but it's to circumvent the uh, the pleasantries. Yeah, I don't know, man. Getting down to brass tacks. <sighs> What's next here, dude? Oh yeah, you wanted you tell to show. Me. Uh, let's Did see. I have the next one? Yeah. Oh, is there yeah. anywhere? Okay, so this is a. It looks like it's in French. It is but French. This, Le, anyways, Les let's Jones. Uh, Les, Les Jean. Les Jean. Berger. Berger. Uh, anyway, this is uh, country music. From France. From France. This, is, this is their person of... Their impersonation? Ameri of Americans. Okay. How accurate. It's three minutes. You want to... Oh. You got to have some warm-up to this. You got to have a little bit of... The first 30 seconds, maybe a minute. That auto tune? Yeah, got that little posty flavor. Can I get some burger? With some peanut butter. Do you think it's better? With a duck duck paper. Can I get some turkey? I need more protein. Can I get some whiskey? I could drink of Fontaine. Fontaine, dude. Mountain. Since this morning I need. Like cheese and baguettes. Do they know that these things don't go together and they're just being humorous? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> that's why that's an interesting check this out i don't want a raw chicken because i love fried chicken yeah that's weird logic <laughs> as if there's only two <laughs> two options yeah how do you like your chicken raw or fried <laughs> yeah it's pretty it's nice dude it feels good it does right feel good. and the, they have big smiles on their faces having a good time and honestly, I agree with them. I agree as well. You give me. You give I don't me. want a can. Uh -oh. <laughs> the kissing. <laughs> Does this get in increasingly more gay? Is that the? Is that the it bit? It should. That would be. That would be the. That would be a really good bit. Yeah, we don't have to watch the whole thing. It just keeps I know, going. But I am it's like, really good. It's I. I. It came across I'm me. i And I listened to the whole thing and didn't feel like anything. Where are they? It looks like they're in America. Nashville. Oh, okay. But they're Frenchies, I guess? Yeah. Because they don't sound like they're American. They're French comedians. They're little accents. Oh, that's fine. Good job, guys. Yeah. Le Les Jones. I don't want a candy. I want <laughs> beef drips, chips, and burgers. There's a lot of, there are, there, there's a lot of zero sum uh, kind of like situations there. Yeah. Candy raw, or ribs? Candy or ribs, raw chicken or fried chicken. Look, it's poetry. It's outlining the whole entirety of life itself. I suppose. My New Jersey, what was that about? Oh. Oh, I forgot to say. I've, yeah, this is a little thing. I, I came across this. I'm, I, I'm buying this New Jersey here. Oh, Look no. Look at this. <laughs> I did. Day so <laughs> I didn't relapse, but, but I just think it'd be a, it would be, it would be a funny bit. It would for be a funny all my bit. friends and family to be like, why are you wearing that? Yeah, dude, we're at fucking Luby's. <laughs> yeah, why are you telling everyone you relapsed? Uh, I just think this is a funny. Like, it's a fun party this, shirt. If you, uh, it's 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 a certain type of person that wears this jersey. Absolutely, dude. it's fucking funny. And this guy looks like the type of person. To me, he doesn't. I mean, he's got a bald head. That that's a part of it. I don't know. I don't know this guy. The guy with the 
stays sober, zero, zero, is bald headed. Not in my and mind. Also, he's felt for a person. Normally, this would be on a fat guy. Tell me. It'd be on a fat friggin' guy. Because uh, alcohol does make you really fucking fat. Yeah, so is this guy a poser? He's pretending wow. like he's I mean, like maybe a he's drinker. A, but... Maybe it's, you know, really high alcohol. Real it fast. It also be a gift. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to wear it, Dad. Yeah, you have to wear it, Dad. <laughs> you love your beer so much, Dad. <laughs> Dad, we're going to the hockey game. Days without a, how about like a days without a alcohol related incident? <laughs> <laughs> that is much better. It's better because it's just, it's wordy and, and awkward. All right. Well, that's pretty much, wait. Oh yeah. And I wanted to talk about, so Valentine's Day is coming up. I, oh shit. I don't know if I should keep, like do it for, or save it for our Valentine's Day special. Do you have something now? I don't know. And I don't even know. Just, there's something in your mind. There's something in my mind. Uh, I was thinking about. So when I was a kid, yeah, I used to fall in love with a lot of girls. Sure. When I was in like, you know, and now you're on to dudes. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> it's going pretty well. Um, I guess, hey, mom, dad, I'm gay, so uh, it was a secret, but Neil, <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> it's a, I'm not his type. Man, it's too brown. He's too brown. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. my parents are like, thank oh, God. thank God. It's one, <laughs> one thing being gay. <laughs> Second of all, d- dating a black guy. She thinks you're black. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding Becky yeah she's salt of the earth yeah dude. exactly and I don't I mean, mean that to... in a euphemism like uh, anyways because a lot of times you say they're salt of the earth and you mean they're racist in this situation I'm saying oh, she's a nice I've person. never used the salt of the earth as a racist euphemism but I it doesn't make sense yeah like uh, yeah it correlates like they're salt of the earth they're just you know well, they're yeah, just simple of, people yeah you only think of salt of the earth people who says that Christians that's true that's true. Okay, so there was a uh, so in like from I'd say third grade to sixth grade, I, I was falling hard for these broads, dude. Dang, dude. I, I want to say their name, romantic, but I'm just gonna bleep them out. Romantic ass Jussie. What's that? Is that fussy Jussie? Yeah, it's fussy I was Jussie. fussy, dude. Because even then, I was Samantha. like, they don't love me. Wow, I was, dude. You I was were like, I was, I was brooding, dude. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was my whole trajectory trajectory from third grade onward was I was going straight towards bright eyes, right. Just like a like you were raised in country Connor! western, but these broads sideswiped you. But Bright Eyes starts to do like some more folky country stuff. They so knew you. Lot, they knew, they knew you. They knew you'd be. They knew you'd be a Bright Eyes fan, irregardless of if it was the emo or eventually the country Bright Eyes. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm th- third grade, fifth grade. I'm falling in love with uh, bleep, Samantha, bleep, and, and then uh, bleep, bleep. Right, sure. Um, that was the first name, last name. Oh, so, I see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Winnie Cooper. I would never have guessed to give the first and last name. I would say maybe you just give the first name and then nobody would know who you're talking about. They probably a million know. Names no, called. they know. There's a million. If they ever watch this, they'd know. Oh, wow. Kelly Kapowski? Kristen, J- Jamie. This one, okay, I'll just say Jamie. Jamie. This one is about Jamie. Hey, Jamie. So one, one year, uh, I was Wait, like. Put her up, pull up Jamie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pull Google it real it's quick. It's bad Jamie. It is. It's uh, Joe Rogan's Jamie. <laughs> He's probably a millionaire. What do you think? Yeah, Jamie but he Kennedy? wasn't the guy that I fell in love with. But okay. anyways, so I fall in lo- so I fall in love with this girl. It comes around Valentine's Day. I go to Walmart oh, and I'm no. like, "Mom, will you buy me this um, pack of Valentines? Will you buy me this some this teddy bear?" Oh, and she no. goes, "I'm not buying you that for some <laughs> buying you for that some shit, uh, dude. some thotty. or I don't know what she said. <laughs> you know, some uh, some ho- trollop uh, trollop some <laughs> harlot harlot. No, no, no what's no. the word? Um, uh, who who uh, uh, ho- hooters? No uh, hooters. Uh, I don't know the word. It's like ne'er do well, but for a. Uh, uh, it's like trolla, but it's a, it's a, it's. A, I can't Charlotte? think. Charlotte. I can't think. Hussy. Is hussy. The one I was of. I'm not gonna buy <laughs> some bear for for a hussy. Some six dollar and seventy nine cent bear for a hussy. Dude, for back fussy then. Fussy Jussie's hussy. Fussy Jussie's hussy. <laughs> Dude, you got a Which fan club. <laughs> yeah, you got a fan club. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to do this oh, as yeah, is well. tradition. <laughs> you can continue on with this hussy story. Well, okay, so, finally, yeah. I ask mom, will you buy me this teddy bear? She says, no, I ain't buying no teddy bear for your hussy. And then, um, so I go home, I yeah. look around, I have a bear. Oh, a I build have, a bear. I have like a bear, I just have a bear teddy that was coming to me. No, it was like a little tiny little bear. Sure. And so on Valentine's Day, I go, I say, hey, I take the bear to school. I say, hey, Jamie, will you be my girlfriend? She said, no. Wow. No, oh, you know man. what? Did you take the, I'm misremembering. You take your, okay. you I, I probably just gave her the bear. And you didn't even And I didn't her. even ask. I was like, Here. here's a bear. We're and, dating now. Yeah. <laughs> or I, I just got scared. I just said, oh, here's a bear. And then she's like, why? And I'm like, 
Because I, I just because we're friends and that's what friends do, right? Dang, oh. dude, you friends I my, yourself. I know. I know. Yeah. I tried to a used bear. <laughs> also, it was a used bear. Well, <laughs> so so she goes, "Is this a used bear?" <laughs> Did she really? She did because it was Shit. it was obviously a used yeah. bear. It was a hand me down bear. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it crusty? Not with <laughs> I was third grade or it was something. I I wasn't able to, to produce the kind right. of crust that you're talking about, Arthur. Could have been your drool. Crap. Yeah, Could have been like your teddy bear that you drool, slept yeah, with. That's more likely. No, there was some kind of stain from like chocolate or something. Sure, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say chocolate? You ass nobody with thought it was. Yeah, nobody <laughs> thought it was shit until you said chocolate. <laughs> I I think most people weren't thinking it was. Shit anyways. They weren't until you said chocolate. No, now they're they definitely still not. Thinking now they're thinking because you said shit. Hey, they, the moment you said chocolate, they're like, did they this motherfucker, what no. art? Did you have pets? Did you think, did you, I don't He said pets. shit as well. Okay. Yeah, when you said brown crusty stuff, you wiped her ass with a bear. Okay, well anyways, it was real <laughs> chocolate. Guys, this isn't a laughing matter, okay? I'm just So kidding. Jamie said, uh, broken heart. Is this a fucking She goes, is this used bear? And I said, no. No. What if you is this No. Do you think it would have been uh, better if you fessed up and said, my mom wouldn't buy you a $3.97 yeah. I asked my mom. Bear. Now I would. That's my Riz now, is honesty. Sure. That's, it works 100%. That's W time. Riz, dude. Yeah. Also, now, yeah. Yeah, you said, my mom wouldn't buy me a $3.97 bear at the Walmart yeah. because you are a hussy. She goes, and I think we need to prove her right. <laughs> <laughs> dude, if a friggin' third grader said that oh, to a wow. Bear, can you imagine? It's like yeah. I don't know what a cherry. <laughs> no, <laughs> so, I don't know what a hussy is, but I know I want. I want to know. <laughs> yeah, I want to know. I want to know. I uh, so she. I lied to her. I said. I said it wasn't a used bear. Anyways, that was the end of it. I just kind of lost. Did you for pets? some reason? I was like in my mind, she had turned me down. I was just so embarrassed that she found out that it was a used bear that I don't think I ever pressed the issue. Oh, and she didn't seem that interested in me. Yeah, but I. What I wanted, Jamie, if you're listening. And we know you are. Let me t get this like coffee mustache off before I talk to you, Jamie. Before you give her a ride. <laughs> <laughs> On the memory lane train, buddy. <laughs> Jamie, I just want to I want to let you know that it was a used bear. You already know it's a used bear because of the shit stain that was on it. <laughs> but I just want to be a man and what, like 25 years later, admit that uh, I liked you. You were a cutie. I don't know how you are now. You might be not. <laughs> <laughs> I will just I will cut that part. Uh, anyways, I knew where you go. I love I loved you and uh, you reach out. Hat. Reach out. Send a pic. Uh, send a recent Prove pic. Prove me wrong. <laughs> at Tummy Time TV. Coin me. Yeah, Justin at Tummy Time TV. Prove me wrong. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Anyways, so did she? Did she keep the bear? Yeah, but she probably threw it in the trash. <laughs> so she <got> home. <laughs> you think, like, immediately probably threw it in the dang trash. Do you think immediately oh. just went in? Yeah, or she liked me and she was waiting for me to say, she was like, it's kind of cute that you, you gave me this hand me down bear. Yeah. But that's not how women are. <laughs> Some women are. If yeah. they really like you. That's true. And she didn't. Yeah, no, obviously. And it's good that you're only invested in a crappy bear. <laughs> right? <laughs> a um, literal crappy bear. Used bear. There was no crap on it. It was chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it's never chocolate. It's always crap. A gently used bear. Yeah. Um, so that was my Valentine's Day confession to Jamie. Jamie. Uh, we watched this. Did it country. go well? Um, what's that? Your confession. Just maybe. now? I know, but like, how would you rate it? Just now? Uh. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> Colleen ISD oh, no. teacher. <laughs> Just going from like a sweet story. Yeah. To, Colleen ISD teacher assigned racist word search to middle schoolers. You know, <laughs> this before so we even go into this, <laughs> you know I'm on the side of the teacher. So prove me wrong. You're always a uh, staunch defender of people's constitutional rights. First of all, the first thing I'm noticing, this is a little bit like a swastika. Just kind of a general, if you just kind of squint, mm -hmm. there's some there's some general there's shapes. There's lines. There's lines. <laughs> it's the trigger word search. Shorty, Trigger huh? words search. The we ones they can show you are crackhead, uh -huh. stupid, idiot, shorty, shorty, shorty. ugly, fat. fat. Okay, so these ones that are blanked out are not as uh, friendly as benign. Those? They're not as benign as this. Sure. Okay, well, I'm I'm gonna have to blank this out. I did look at this a little bit, and I saw the words were not blanked out. Once you scroll down, oh, uh, they're not blanked out on this paper. No, and it made me laugh wow. when I saw it. <laughs> I don't know if you could. Let's see. Um, okay. So. <laughs> yeah, they're not. Okay, I'll, I'll blank it out. Uh, we got the R word, ugly, dumbass, idiot, bitch. 
Uh, I almost I said that one, one the no, N-word. <laughs> Shorty, fat, stupid, crackhead. I like the definitions. A contemptuous term used to refer to black people. That's Why'd true. That one? Yeah. <laughs> I, would, they, I wanted the they, first one. <laughs> oh, to, make, to, make, to make slow delay development. Oh, so they're Why using is there the a verb. colon? Shouldn't that know. be semicolon? It should be a semicolon. Are they... <laughs> <laughs> Why are the okay, lines also? I think maybe they should have shuffled them, and then you had to draw the line to the definition. Oh draw yeah, this does look like the easiest. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they wanted to make it damn clear. Also, this will be blanked out, so they're not going to know what we're talking about, right? Yeah, now. Uh, absolutely not. Let's see. So, did you did you read this, or do you, what were? Do you know what the intention of the teacher was? I have no idea what th their intentions were. Uh, to me, it seems nefarious at best. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's bad, but I'm just wondering if they were like, this is, they're trying to teach. There's a possibility where this teacher is very naive and they're trying right. to teach, don't you, like, this is bad. This, these words will hurt people. They will trigger other people. Right. And she's still living in 1998 when it was right. okay to refer to a word. Now you can't. So I don't know. She might Maybe be like. she's teaching her the truth. Or it's a guy. It's probably a guy. It's probably a dude and he means every word. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most likely scenario here. Oh, here it is again. There's a direct What's, link. It's so funny seeing There's this. a direct link. Do we go there? I think it's probably taken down by yeah, now. Yeah, probably. It's too easy, right? Oh, so God. it's like, okay, there's like nine words and there's like a, it's there's all like the same words. five different activities, activities with, with the, the same, same five, nine words. I mean, that's how you learn the the words. And then Repetition. You have, you have this. Fill in the blank. Uh, you have, Hangman. <laughs> you have this like second grade handwriting, writing these words, dude. Right. Just the R word, the N word right there. Rat? No fat. Right. Uh, comass, dumb, dumb ass, damn ass, <laughs> damn ass. Comass. Oh, and then this word, word scramble. <laughs> Jesus, I'll and tell you, you know, no, dude, here's I can the keep thing. these. No, here's the thing. I don't have to blur this out. Here's the no. thing. Yeah, they're all in the same order. Every <laughs> single activity, no, it's in I the same order. No, but our I word know. is always. <laughs> the top. Our he word is always on top. He leads it. He leads with it. Oh my god. Yeah, but isn't this? It's kind of cool that I can't. I don't have to blur this out, right? Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> I mean, you're putting this together in your Dude, own this, head. This would be hilarious if, like, well, he did keep the G's together. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! But if, like, all of them were scrambled except for <laughs> the oddest funny. ones. That would be funny. Wow. Wow. Tuspid. That's stupid. Scrambled. Wow. Tuspid. Um, Killeen. Oh, did you see the sentences? <laughs> oh, no, there's oh, there sentences. Was, oh, use it in a use sentence. In a oh, sentence. my Where? God. There's use it in a sentence. Oh, look at this. Your, your. your R word. Wow. They didn't use the apostrophe RE. Don't they know that's kind of ironic? They're like 12 years old. Oh, okay. Yeah, They're not even 12. Yeah. What are they? I don't know. What grade they got, was this? You're a dumbass. They couldn't have gotten the first one. Or you're... put the past tense, the ED at the end. Oh, then these are like, these are like, um, it just says your A and then blank the word. Right. These are not very creative ways to use these words. <laughs> sure. I could do a lot better with these words. Next time on Tummy Time. <laughs> Join the Patreon. I'll we'll be using. I'll, we'll be, do, see I'll Justin, be doing these activities. We'll see Justin's homework and see how uh, you can grade his homework <laughs> on yeah. originality. Wow, I love to see this, but you know, I don't. It's fine. <laughs> it's not fine. <laughs> I, I'm saying fire the person, but you know, no one was hurt by this, right? I, I don't know, man. Just I think this lady was. Disciplinary action. But this, oh. a slap on the wrist. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now that you now that you put some acrylics to the to the to you the people, you made it real. Okay, well that's insane. That's just pass this out to third graders. Maybe they just wanted to quit and go out with a bang. Yeah, they didn't dead name him or nothing, which is wild. That is that is wild. Woman went on six dates a week to save on food. I didn't buy groceries for two years. Didn't buy Smart. groceries. Didn't buy breakfast. What do you mean? <laughs> she spent the night, dog. <laughs> okay. All right. She spent the night, dog. Oh, I got you. I, I'm such an idiot, dude. I'm such a I'm such a first word on that uh, trigger list. <laughs> D-trad. <laughs> D-trad. <laughs> I'm a D-trad, dude. I'm an egg egg egg. No, 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 stop no, no. What? no. I'm an egg. No, I'm a, no, okay. Egg. No. Eggin. <laughs> nope. No, no, that's probably it. Okay. <laughs> it feels like any combination. Ginger. Yeah, it's, yeah. I'm a ginger. Sure. A little bit. Kind of. I'm a ginger. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dr. Buzz Aldrin. Dr. Buzz. Dr. Buzz got uh, married. Wow. To this to, to this lady. Wow. I mean. Buzz 93 Aldrin. 
Yeah, on his 93rd birthday, it's on my 93rd birthday, and the day I will also be honored by. Oh, who cares? Uh, <laughs> I don't remember Bud looking I'm like pleased that. to announce that my long time. I know. I think he's had some uh, work done. He says, I'm pleased to announce that my longtime love, Dr. Anka Farr, and I have tied the knot. Oh. Uh, he's 93. She's How old do you think she is? 60? 50. Really? Yeah, she is like, she's like 63. Yeah. She looks good for 63. Sure. But, uh, I mean, he's I mean, kinda... she's married to Dr. Bu- Dr. Buzz. Right, but I mean. He's a crotchety man. He is kind of crotchety. But, it's kind of just before. Yeah. Uh, this do you don't think this is like a predatory age gap, dude? You don't think he's maybe years? being a, p- a pedophile by marrying the sixty three year old? I mean, by definition, he's not a pedophile. He could be a gilf hunter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you never Mar- age out of gilf hunting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if he, you know, but a lot of people are upset, dude. They want him to to marry a, a great grandmother. He needs to be a g- gilf hunter. Oh wow! If he wants he wants an age appropriate relationship. Why? They love each other. Who are he's they? Like, oh, I'm just saying, dude. He's almost out of here. I'm so. just trying to keep things age appropriate. <laughs> you know that's what. I'm All about. these underage twenty year olds too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, wait, wait. You're not on TikTok. You're, 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 you don't know the new rules, dude. Yeah. No. Also, uh, Buzz Aldrin, uh, notorious crossy man. Yeah. A lot of people come at him apparently, saying the moon landing was fake. <laughs> they sure do. <laughs> that's brash. We're He's always like, I was on there, motherfucker! Yeah, that's, that kind of sounds like a baby. <laughs> Speaking of which... Yeah. Park, Park Buzz oh, Aldrin shit. punches a damn commie in the face for saying... Oh, I was just narrating this whole fucking scenario, and you had to... dancing? How to throw a dynamite straight punch. I hope you do. I'd love to go to court and show yeah. a window shot. I know you'd like to get a lot of attention, wouldn't you? Well, you're the one getting money for something you didn't do. You're getting a lecture for walking on the moon when you didn't. Well, that's called being a thief. That's called being a thief. He's a brash. Watch this. Watch what he asks him to do. Do you think you can get to heaven without repenting? Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> look at this. Why don't you swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon? He, look, now. Look, I'm with you, dude. I think we landed on the moon. If yeah. not, then later on we did. Sure. They faked the first one and the first couple ones. Otherwise, Stanley Kubrick. why wouldn't he swear on the damn Bible? Maybe he's a good Christian and he doesn't swear on the Bible. Maybe he doesn't swear. To. What about if you're you had very dirty? Yeah, well, that's for that's for uh, the United States of America, which is God. You're right. Either 1A Country. or 1B. <laughs> Right. So, anyways, he keeps he keeps hassling him. Sure. Not not swearing on the Bible. I'm just saying that is a little sus, Buzz. Uh, <laughs> so, anyways, so he's hassling him. Oh wait. You gotta keep cheating, man. Okay. Well, you can put it on your shoulder. Don't be shy. Come with me, Buzz. Really like I should have got the time like stamps. Okay, he's about to he's about to punch him. Hold on one second. Call the kettle black. If you ever thought it's Santa, you're a coward and a liar. That's who? Damn. <laughs> and then the glasses the fall on Buzz. Did you know, he drop him? Yeah. Oh. He gets one in that. Damn. I bet Buzz is a really strong old man. I like yeah. how her bay's done. <laughs> She's like, I'm out of here. Yep. I, Buzz. Buzz. Okay. Uh, he's I'll off his fucking meds. <laughs> um, think he got sued? What like this Buzz? Guy? Yeah, this is the kind of guy that would litigate. I think. I think he. I think he's at the very beginning saying, "I wish you would hit me so I could get to get some money." Yeah, he said that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the trigger was him. He called him, called him a coward. You don't call a man from that generation a coward, right? Especially a man who's been on the moon. Yeah, especially mm-hmm. a patriot. <laughs> hey, Buzz. No offense, dude. You're a fucking fraud. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> I'm calling you out, Buzz. You, you want to punch me? Buzz, you you want to punch me, old man? You want to come on? I'll the take show? your woman, dude. Would you give him I'll one? Take would your... you give him one swing? Ninety-three. No, no I'm no, not a good. He's fight. gonna fucking. He's gonna, he's gonna light ass, me up, dude. dude. I'm not gonna. He's gonna swing. piece you up because if you give him one, he's getting three in. Oh, yeah. he's got that combo chambered, man. Us, us, us. <laughs> he's got. A, he's he's an angry night, man. Night. He's got a lot of piss and vinegar in him still. I w- I would imagine. Hey, piss and vinegar got us on the moon. <laughs> 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 Yeah, the moon landing's fake. All right. <laughs> How e girl influencer influence okay. How e girl influencers are trying to get Gen Z into the military, dude. There's a recruitment uh there's a lack of recruitment. Nationalist. Nobody wants traps? to get into Yeah, nationalist. Yeah, no one wants to go in the meat grinder. Yeah. Because why? Because they got opportunities nowadays when uh, Even if they don't. How about not going uh, to I'd fight re- somebody else's war or is yeah. it is it is it that thing or is it because you're gonna go get killed? But I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, 
If I, yeah. Um, so I guess the U.S. military is they're buying sponsor ads. their ads uh, so with smart. these little thoughties, dude. That's so smart. It really is. The the U.S. military they got intelligent people running their social media campaigns. Mm -hmm. Also, it's, these ladies technically have government jobs, don't they? <laughs> technically. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, it's these little young cuties. What is her? The what's the whole makeup that will last even if you get sniped? <laughs> what the fuck? Makeup that will last. E she's a dual influencer. She's using two brands together to create yeah. synergy. Holy shit! But she's getting double paid here. So this is this girl. Her this is her page. Just littered with this. Crap. Wow, dude. But I don't know if she's okay. Do you think she's getting paid by the U.S. government or, or she, she like, like deployed? Or she's all no. about military life. Or it's like she's like a, that's her that's her role in the U.S. government is to run a social media campaign. It could be, but also she might have just like oh she might be in the military. I think she is in the military. Okay. Or she could have just bought that stuff. She could have bought that stuff. Did like one Army video. Surplus. Look, because you know she blew up. Yeah. She blew up with one thing like this one. Well, yeah, that one did well. So she said, "I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna do ultra nationalist." But stuff. if she wasn't in the military, they would call her. They would say it's stolen uh, valor. Stolen valor. So she probably is in the military. Do you do you say stolen valor to uh, thirst traps? <laughs> <laughs> nationalist thirst traps. What do you mean? Are you calling them out on stolen valor? Are you are you just simping in the comments? Uh <laughs> <laughs> probably simping. <laughs> uh, we're being honest. Uh, no so one's saying anything. Psyops, dude. Hey, was that the Eric one with her, dude? Trump? Where? Second one. Oh yeah, how and yeah. So she is. Wow. She is like a cons she's a conservative, uh, conservative influencer. Right? Yeah, come on the show, lady. <laughs> yeah, there's a <laughs> lot of right like here. red blood. Yeah, you come come on the show anytime. Uh, if you're 18, yeah, she's 18. Okay, oh, she's right. in the military. That's or right. is she? Um, yeah, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of conservative young men that are being swayed by this. Here. Yeah. Wake up, guys! Don't go to the military. Yeah, Look. this and don't listen to these ladies like this. Most yeah, of you cannot get a girl like this, so don't even listen to her. Yeah, listen to Justin. Wait, wait, where is it? You can what? Oh, this one? No. Fuck! <laughs> oh, reverse that. No. 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 Tickle them ivories. Tickle them ivories. All right, listen, listen here, young blood. Listen yeah. up, young blood. It says up, but it's really listen yeah. Here. Listen here, young blood. Hey, she screen stuck. What? Oh, it's oh, stuck. Yeah. Listen here, young blood. Uh, Is this. It good? Yeah. She, the U.S. government does not have your uh, best interest. Your best interest, interest at heart, and neither do hotties like this, dude. She's trying to sell you on something. They're always trying to sell you on something. Look, listen. As he said before, you can't get a girl like this, but you can definitely get a guy like Justin. Yeah, call in. Okay, if you want a girl like this, how about you just be gay instead with me? <laughs> Apparently, it's what, you, it's what Neil is saying. <laughs> For some reason. PSYOPs. PSYOPs. This is definitely PSYOPs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's PSYOPs are operations to convey selected information and indicators to audience to influence their emotions, horniness, motives, and objective reasoning, horniness, and ultimately the behavior of governments, organizations, groups, and individuals. Horniness. Horniness, man. Using our own cocks against us. Did you ever think the U.S. government would do something like this? Who could they have killed thought? Kennedy. Yeah. <laughs> and we didn't land on the moon. I'm, I'm not even joking, dude. They kill, The CIA killed Kennedy. Yeah, absolutely. I haven't looked into it, but it seems like they did. Yeah, that's why they haven't released any papers, because people who are still alive during that operation are still alive. Right. Once they go, we can start We can start knowing the facts. That's I, I, I agree. Which is, they killed Kennedy. Rat tat tat on his monkey ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I do, I do think we've been on the moon. I'm just kidding about the. I'm not yeah, kidding about Kennedy. Been we've on been the on the moon. We might not have been on the moon when the, we said we were on the moon, and we but were saying we got there because so, because we were in a race with Russia. Right. So they were like, "Hey, Stanley Kubrick, can you pretend like we're on the moon?" He's like, "I'm, yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm a guy. baller. I'm your guy." I already got that. I, I got, got slow film. I got I got the best lenses, the best glass. I got the worst lenses. I got to make it look like shit, like we're in the fucking in the atmosphere. Oh. The moon landing didn't look great. No, you're right. It couldn't have. It could not have. Like, if it had depth of field, you'd be like, wait a minute. That's they big. didn't know about that shit, dude. Focus? <laughs> okay, on this show, I like to make fun of uh, these articles that about women who... About women who the article says looks good for their age. Oh, no. Or the woman says, I look good. I'm like 45, but I look 20, and they never look 20. Yes. So I wanted to be fair-handed. Sure. And here's one with a guy. A dude now. Tech mogul Brian Johnson, 45, spends $2 million 
per year to get 18 year old body. You can spend a lot less to get an 18 year old body. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so you tell me. Look at he looks like a android. He looks like Data from Star Trek. Dude. He really does. But I mean, he looks great. Yeah. But I mean, this he doesn't look I 18. Say that's he looks sinewy. Yeah, I, he doesn't look 18. That's a 25 year old's body. Yeah. Well, and he well, how old yeah, is muscle he? mass. He's forty five. Forty five. He looks he looks good, but it's just like Hey, look, give me give me two million dollars a year, I can look like that. Yeah. And uh, oh my god. They put hell, my dude. hair down too, dude. Do you that think women like shot? this? I mean they like the money part, but do they like the way he looks, you think? Maybe. Or yeah. does he even like women? That's the question. I think he doesn't have a preference. That's true. Um by the way, I Jesus, think it would be. What is this shit? This is all. This is like he's yeah, like look it up oh. here, a fucking fifty thousand dollar helmet that tracks brain signals. Oh my god! Me 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 me. How the fuck you sleep in that? Is this his nightly routine? Well, he says he goes to bed. And he he takes his sleep very very. He puts uh, a lampshade on and turns on the lights and goes to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like he has a perm in this. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta upload to the internet. I'll brb, bitch. Yeah, that's how that's how he's gonna stay alive. Forever. Also, can you leave? <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Um, when well, I, I can't sleep, the lights too loud. I think it'd be funny if he just spends two million dollars a year until he's like fifty and gets run over by a, a, like an ambulance. Damn, dude. <laughs> just like gets hit by a car, dude. And then well, that's ten million dollars down the drain. Yeah. I mean, you know, good for you. Good for what a, look at this. Look at this. This supper. is what he eats every day. Ugh. Every, every day? day he has a caloric intake of nineteen hundred calories. Did you read this, that's or you just saw it? And it's all this. I, I got highlights for oh, kids. What's in the middle? Is that like nuts? No, that's uh, seeds, chia quinoa. seeds, blue cheese. Or I thought this or was chia. quinoa. No, quinoa is grainy. It look like capers. Capers? Those aren't capers. These look like capers. Pomegranate? Maybe like small capers. Pomegranates? What the fuck? I yeah, I don't know, man. Pomegranates like red. Dark purple pomegranate. Sure. Uh, Tori Spelling couldn't stop watching friend Denise Richards on OnlyFans. Spent four hundred dollars in two days. What's your takeaway from this headline? Um, my takeaway is that, uh, I didn't know Denise Richard said that only fans <laughs> I'm interested. I'm also interested in knowing what Tori Spelling was doing while she was looking at it. Mm -hmm. Cause that's kind of hot to me. Also two whole days and it costs you $400. <laughs> she sometimes on, on, on only fans, you could do like a monthly subscription, like a one f fee, or you Flappy. can like, you can sell each, each individual picture for 10 bucks. So, Okay, oh, so, so she was tipping and, and like for get, two days straight, she was just scrolling and tipping, or was this a two day live stream marathon? On I don't OnlyFans? know. Oh, yeah, that I mean, seems it's... insane to be on her page for two days. I think it was probably on and off. On and off, I wouldn't call that two days, but I'd like to see these two grandmas going at it. Sure, so would Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, anyway, so she just kind of she, I could play that, but she just says the same thing. Uh, she was just like, she's my friend and I want to see what's going on. I want to see how far she goes. I was able how to- How far she goes? I was able to find some, some leaked- <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry, what? I was able to find some OnlyFans some... content from you Denise Richards. So you didn't, you didn't, uh- I stole it. Okay, so she's not, is she paying a la carte or is it a sub? I didn't, I didn't go that far. You didn't far. even go that far, you just went straight to I just wanted to see the pictures. <laughs> sure. Uh, and, but for the most part, they're clothed. And I'm like, this is a, this is a ripoff, but yeah. there's some, there's some naked ones. Sure. Do you also justify things? cost? $400, no. But I mean, if you could just get, no, I wouldn't never pay for 10 this. bucks a month? Maybe 10, no. Seems 10 heavy. bucks a month for one month and just download Scrape all Scrape it. it, get a data scraper, get all Maybe, of it. Maybe, but. Get out. She asked for a refund after you get out. <laughs> <laughs> I was only on there for like 24 hours. She does look pretty good for her age. What's her age? Uh, 51. Oh. And um, what else? What else what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Do you know who Abella Danger is? Can you guess by her name what she is does she a, for a living? Is she a porno star? <laughs> she is. Stunt so she, person. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But it gets naked. She, <laughs> um, yeah, she, she did a shoot with her. Oh, really? So that's kind of cool. Yeah, if for you, both of them. That's a good little cross promotion. Hey, shout out yeah. to Bella Danger. Bella Brian. Danger, call in. Also, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. One of these days they're gonna take you up on that offer. The most interesting thing that I saw in this in this article was that the reason that Denise Richards was it stop streaming? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Uh, the reason that Denise Richards started uh, an OnlyFans Only is because her eighteen year old daughter did. 
Richard joined OnlyFans like last summer after her daughter Sammy Sheen, apparently Charlie, yeah, uh, eighteen, started making content on the platform. What a family! Yeah, Did Charlie Sheen's <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Sheen's daughter Sammy Sheen, eighteen, reacts to troll who asked if she had the body for OnlyFans. Wow! Here's the thing. Did you like a you're a research hound? You've got yeah. When every, it comes to certain su su you've subjects, you've got every next question answered, dude. You're so prepared. <laughs> well, it's fucking insane. How like I said, like I said, like I like we've said before, dude. If you enjoy what you do, you don't work, Never a, day work a day in your life. And if it's about Charlie Sheen's uh, daughter, who happens to be naked on here, more power to you. Uh, so someone was just like, "I bet you won't start an OnlyFans with that body," and then she t completely fell for it. Baited. Jebated, dude, wow. as you say. Sure. Um, she is a mid, and you know I'm into it. Wait, there's not a good picture of her. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, wait, what am I talking about, dude? Of course I'm prepared. <laughs> <laughs> what am I talking about? So here she is. Sure. She kind of got a schnoz, dude. She uh, got Charlie schnoz. Hate her? But, no, I, dude, I love, I love a schnoz because that means that uh, I'm... Accessible, know, a little closer to you. A little closer to me. <laughs> so, you know, just a little, mo little mother-daughter action there, dude. You hoping? No, I don't think they're doing that. So That'd Charlie Sheen, yeah. crazy person, right? Apparently, Tiger Apparently. Blood, Tiger Blood, whatever. HIV has positive. AIDS. Oh, HIV. Right. Well, hepatitis. He's crazy, and right? Hepatitis. Well, he had a little moment of clarity. Well, no, no, not on this. Okay, initially he had the moment of clarity. He was like, "Oh my God, my daughter. I don't want my daughter doing this." Yeah. I mean, she's like a she, she's like a Sheen of the dynasty. She's of the dynasty. Just become an actor. She's Emilio's niece. Yeah. Not to slut shame. I'm just saying you don't have to do this, honey pie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to be uh, patronizing here, honey, but uh, <laughs> just become an actor. Uh, he initially did not condone Sa Sammy's OnlyFans venture, but... Saw the cash. But good news. Charlie Sheen <laughs> pledges United Front with ex-Denise Richards to support daughter Sammy, 18, on OnlyFans. Wow. Isn't that a heartwarming family story? It is. It is. They came together. Look, Sammy had a decision to make. And it was a difficult one. Yeah. They came together, discussed it. Uh, Charlie Sheen we saw it one me. way. Honey. Denise said no. Uh -huh. and Charlie's like, you're absolutely right. <laughs> absolutely right. They set her down. They said, look, honey, we support you on your journey to exchange pictures of your uh, pussy for cash. <laughs> and you mean if you- Gash for cash. <laughs> gash for cash. <laughs> we support you. Uh, it's like cars for kids. <laughs> It's exactly like cars for kids. <laughs> a little different. Um. Anyways, so oh, I do wish her all the all the best. As Sammy. you do. <laughs> I do wish Sam, Sammy, Charlie, and Denise all the best. Oh yeah, here it is. Jeez. Sammy Sheen. Limited offer. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars off. Fifty percent off. I don't know if it's fifty dollars. Fifty percent off. Ten dollars for thirty-one days. Regularly nineteen ninety-nine. I might get this. Whoa. Uh, okay. Are you ready to have the time of your life? Sure. I've had <laughs> Look, the time of my life. I'm sure it's nice, dude. I'm sure you got. I'm sure it's great. But I don't know if I would call it having the time of my life. Never felt this way. I felt before. this way before. I think maybe if you are also a child. What do you mean? Like 18. Yeah. And like she fits every single, every single marker for you. Uh huh. I think you could have. Oh, the time, time of your life. life. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So if you've never she's... seen a woman naked before, you could have the time of your life. Yeah. Hey, okay. Sammy Sheen, holla. Noodle. <laughs> also, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Sammy. Bird. Sammy. Sammy, what are you doing? Sammy, you could be on, you don't have to be on Only OnlyFans, you could be on Tummy Time. You could be on Tummy exactly. Time. <laughs> you can make zeros of dollars on uh, Tummy Time. Was, was this a Tory spelling bean? <laughs> <laughs> I got a little crazy. <laughs> Look. What's the bean? Is that the clitoris? Yeah. Okay. She's rubbing her bean, looking at Denise. So we got Tory <laughs> spelling, spelling bean. bean. Sammy Sheen spills the beans. <laughs> and then also, Charlie Sheen. Supports the cream. <laughs> <laughs> we went on an adventure and everybody's missing out but myself and Art. <laughs> Tori <think> Spelling <laughs> Bean. Sammy Sheen spills the beans. <laughs> Charlie Sheen supports the cream. And also cream, <laughs> cash rules everything around me. Oh, man. I didn't think anyone would see that except you. Well, yeah, this, there's nobody else who has access to these except for me. I didn't know if you'd read them. Hey, look, I, I, them. I, take my, I take my notes seriously, okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Pamela, Pam, Pamela, Pamela Anderson <laughs> defends alleged flasher Tim Allen. His job is to cross the line, she says. So what he did? So apparently, as a joke, as a joke, <laughs> Tim <laughs> Allen, <laughs> Tim Allen opened his robe on the set of uh, of Tool Home Time or whatever it's called. Home Improvement. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so he like showed her his dick. Sure. <clears throat> As dude, co-workers do. This just for for a second, dude. This look is so hot to me. Just a Overall? just a sexy blonde chick with big old kazoons with a uh, no, not the shop vac. The uh, the overalls. The overalls. Because you got some side boob, boob all the time. Right. No matter what you got, side boob. Even if she has a shirt on, it's still nice. Yeah. It still tease, tickles the uh, the ivories. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, anyways, she's a. So apparently it came out that he did this, and she defends him, you know, obviously, because that's what it says in the headline. And uh, what do you think, dude? If you... if, if, if Tim the Tool Man if Taylor. If Tim the Tool Man Taylor opens his robe and he does the helicopter... I think if you do the helicopter, that's not a Me Too. If you don't... If you're fully erect. If you're fully erect... Definitely. But if you're soft enough to do the helicopter, right. it's not a sexual thing. It's, it's, it's a bit. It's a bit. It's a really Showing funny your bit. Dick. It's a really it's a funny. Bit. Let set. me ask you something. <laughs> yeah. Do you like seeing dick? <laughs> no, but it's funny though. Nobody likes seeing dick. Yeah, but that's why it's funny. You're showing yeah. me dick when I don't want to, and you're doing a little funny little. And you're stirring routine my coffee with it. with it too. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling it wasn't a bit. But uh, <laughs> you don't think it was a bit? But here's the thing. She's defending him. I know. As if it was. So, another thing is, and this is a risky move. Sure. But if Pamela Anderson likes that you did that to her, it's not a bad thing. Yeah, but but it's a risky it's move. It's a risky move because everyone's going to be willing to helicopter at you. What do you mean? Are you saying if the word if gets she, around? Yeah. <laughs> if she's like a no nay, go ahead and swing your dick. Not a big deal. She seems like a down ass broad. Sure. And she'd be. She'd be like, go ahead, show it to me. I know you want to Let show it, it to me. Let me see it. Okay. <laughs> do you feel better? Yeah. Yes, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's some more. Pa this is Pamela Anderson corner. Wow. We had another story. <clears throat> she has a book coming out, so that's why there's so much press. I see. <clears throat> I was like, why? Yeah, why is she back? Why is number one tool time in the news? Yeah. Hopefully Tim Tim Allen's doing all right. Yeah. I need another Santa Claus. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> and secondly, I was like, what the fuck has Pam Anderson been up to since her sex tape? Uh, Barbed wire? Oh, Was that dude. before or after? I don't remember. After? after? I but I, I remember, I remember the going tattoos? to the TV guy channel and sure. seeing that, right. and being like, "I'm setting my alarm. I'm, I'm setting my uh, alarm watch. clock. My I'm watch. Setting the VCR. The VCR for to, 8:45. And I'm gonna. Well, <laughs> I can't do that. What I have to do is I get about what is it? 8:45. No, it's like we're talking 11:45. Right. So I'm having to like go and then like turn, Sneak change in. the channel back and forth because it's the fuzzy channel, you know. Oh right. So it gets clear frames. for just like a no. Well, like. <laughs> The scramble channel. The scramble. So, like, if you, when you turn it to it, there's like there's like a couple Get seconds yeah. where it's good, and then it so scrambles. you have to go back and forth, and so I have to do that for an hour until you see your boobs in that movie. That's that worth it. It's worth Very it. Taught. It's worth it. I, sorry, I spit on you. It's fine. Is it worth it? Like to, as a kid, a it was whole, worth it. Yeah, and you ain't as, got nothing better to do. As a kid in the '90s, just seeing some like that's all tight. There were, that's boobs all there that were don't in the move. '90s. That's all there were in the '90s. There were only tight boobs that didn't move. I loved it. Jeez. I could do without it now, but uh, back in the day, back your formative years. Pamela Anderson, quote, I caught Jack Nicholson having a threesome at the Playboy Mansion. It's the Playboy Mansion. I Why know. the fuck are you telling everybody stories from the Playboy Mansion? And he's our king, dude, Jack Nicholson. Uh, here's the interesting part. <laughs> no, that's De Niro. That's De Niro, yeah. I can't. That's pretty good. Yeah, like one eye that's kind of cocked. Yeah. Jack uh, Nicholson's like, yeah. <laughs> dude, he. Uh, scary. I'll tell you what, so, so, I'll tell you something about Jack Nicholson. Love trim. Yeah. Here's the story that uh, stuck out to me. Okay. Did she catch him in the threesome because she was also in the threesome? Well, watch this. Oh, no. The Baywatch star, who didn't reveal when the alleged event occurred, recalls trying not to look, but that she couldn't help herself. Oh, no. This is sexy. Yeah. I walked by, I walked by to use the mirror, bending over the sink to fix my lip gloss. She knows what she's doing by talk, bending, bending over, over all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's very descriptive in a and very I, descriptive manner. God bless her. There's not a lot of women out here that are, that uh, going to tease the bit about. Yeah, draw trying, you along. Trying not to look, but I couldn't help myself and caught his eye in the reflection. Anderson, fifty five, writes. Yeah, I bet she looks good for fifty five. What do you think he did when he caught her in his in the reflection? Well, I'll tell you. Oh no! And the actress <laughs> even says she found herself being slightly involved in The Shining. Wow. Actors Menage a Trois. I guess that got him to the finish line because he made a funny noise, smiled, and said, Thanks, dear. Oh, she my claims. God. Funny noise. So, <laughs> yeah. What's the funny noise? Oh! 
Oh! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! 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 Thanks, Take dude. the hate out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so she's just. It burns me. If we're to believe this, she's like fixing her. And she's like watching. I mean, that's for Jack Nicholson. He's already got two ladies. Mm -hmm. He looks out the door, and and Pamela Anderson is watching and enjoying it. Putting on lip gloss, bending over. It, I you mean, think that's really what got him over? I mean, it's kind of cool. Yeah. To have a. Thanks, tits. A voyeur. Yeah, to have a voyeur and have Pamela Anderson interested in you having sex sure. with two women. Sure. She's down. She, like I said, she's a down ass broad. Also, she was at the at the Playboy. Yeah, she mansion. was there to party. Yeah. I had some other things. I had something about police agreed a DNA test cookie for evidence of Santa Claus. This was kind of silly. And then they did, and guess what? There Wait, was common that was cookie. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Did Santa Claus uh, get a bunch of elves uh -huh. to surround a cookie, dude? Do a little oh, okie wow. cookie? Jesus a little limp right. biscuit? Santa's your dad. <laughs> Anything HO anal? Was that a uh, we don't. <laughs> we don't have to do okay. HO anal. It, that was just a story about a guy who uh, got pissed at his HOA and burned down the entire condominium. <laughs> <laughs> which I, I kind of agree with. I get with it. Like HOAs are dude, something else. Narcs, dude. You think cops are bad? Just think about cops that aren't really cops. And it's crazy because you, to be cops. you literally have to pay the Karens to to snoop on you. You got to ask them if like your dues. You can ask them if you could put a second trash bag out, stuff like that. Say no. Burn the place down. It's like why even ask? Because they're gonna say no. Yeah, and you got to pay them. Sometimes you got to. Don't you have, you to, have pay to pay them, them to ask them to do something like a request? Yes. For something like yes. Yeah, HOAs. I'm kind of like an anarchist when it comes to HOAs. Yeah. You're in favor government. of small government, but yeah. at a very, very micro level. You say, down with HOAs, fuck my alderman. <laughs> I hate my alderman. <laughs> Jimmy, I Jimmy got your number. Jimmy the alderman. Jimmy, I got your number. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. That's the oh, show? we'll cut that. Yeah, that's that's the show. Excellent. It was uh, a fun show. We learn anything today? Was there mm. anything? Was I too hard on the women on this one? <sighs> Time will tell. <laughs> <laughs> I guess okay. I was kind of hard on Sammy Sheen. I was I was kind of calling. I was yeah, but you were also gonna pay twenty dollars. I was gonna month, so. I was gonna donate. Who to says her he didn't already? <laughs> I haven't yet. Uh, no, I just think that she could do better. Sammy Sheen for herself. Yeah, with that legacy, with that squeaky clean legacy, dude. Right. Why is she selling it on OnlyFans? Sure. The Sheen legacy. You got any uh, favorite uh, squ scribbles? I didn't scribble too much. I wrote the Bible. And then the uh, oh, cross sneered. reporter says bad words. Bad words. That's fun. Got a boyga from the Frenchies. Ooh. A little teddy bear from Jesse. Oh, oh yeah. hold on. I forgot wow. the shit stain. Yeah, put the crap Where on Where was it? Uh, probably, that's fine. Put it on its face, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I crapped all over that teddy bear. <laughs> TummyTime.tv. Uh, hit us up on the social medias. Where are we at? Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Uh, Snapchat sometimes. Facebook. Facebook. Facebook's a little different. Tummy Time Pod. Everything else at Tummy Time TV. And thank you for joining us. Thursday's stream. Monday's the show. Uh, check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Tummy Time TV. And we'll see you next Tummy Time. Bye bye.